Well, all right, we are back. Last video, you guys seen me frame in three walls, deck them, house wrap them, and install three windows. Today, we're gonna do some wall repair. We're not gonna have any windows in these three walls on the back side because the view is literally a hillside. So we're not concerned about the view. Now we're only concerned about the structure. And honestly, I'm not that concerned about it. It does have a bad bottom plate. Obviously there's moisture problems on the bottom of those pine boards. We're gonna cut those pine boards off, maybe even take them off completely. I gotta see how well they're attached. Um, replace the bottom plate. My verticals are good. They are not on 16 inch centers. So we're gonna get some boards in there that does get us on 16 inch centers. And then we're also gonna get us our outside boards so that we can attach the wall to the actual four by fours and tie everything together. Let's get this day started. Well, there's one wall repair. Got the bottom plate on, used only three new two by fours. The three in the middle were still good. I did have to move one of them over. It was not on 16 inch centers, but now everything is on 16 inch centers. We got a good bottom plate. I am not nailing off any of these bottom plates yet. I did make the mistake on this wall and I nailed it off to the bottom plate. But if I've got to take these joists out, I'm pretty confident I'm going to take those joists out. If i got to take those joists out and that bottom plate's nailed off, um, well, that's kind of useless to nail the bottom plate off. So I'll nail the bottom plates off later after I get the deck trimmed off and get all the, the bottom joist in that I need for the actual roof that's going to be attached. And <clears throat> I'm pretty confident going off the looks of that over there every one of those are going to come out i am confident these are still good i'm questioning this one that one's useless that one's useless and that one's useless and then i got to start determining what what we have going on back here so the bottom plate on that one isn't really bad it's just discolored i hit on it with my hammer down here on this corner and um, it's still pretty solid. So we're probably gonna leave that bottom plate in there. All of this, I have determined, all of this, I'm gonna take off, put plywood on it. Plywood's gonna be much stronger, tie the building together properly. 
I know I know this product isn't bad now that I've trimmed it off but I just you gotta you gotta strip it this way and I, I don't want to take it off to strip it and put it back on because now my distance out on the outside changes right now we're up against the two by fours here if I come over here and strip that out say that far well now that distance is different than what this distance is going to be on this wall so we're going to take that off of there but for sure we got that one framed up we got the bottom plate in got it all attached on the top everything's coming together good we are probably going to start trying to figure out what we've got to do with those floor joists if we're ripping them out then what are we going to do because everything over here still looks pretty good and that paneling still looks good um, what I got to do is confirm my 16 inch centers over here. That wall may stay just the way it is. Not for sure yet. So to be determined. All right, got all those boards off. You guys might be asking, why'd you put those horizontal two by fours on there? We have some utilities coming up through this side over here. We've got electrical, ran in conduit. We've got a schedule 40 pipe for a toilet. And yes, believe it or not, that red garden hose <coughs> was the water supply which comes all the way from the basement. Um, it was fished through that second pipe back there, which is schedule 35. So I'm gonna fish a new PEX line down through there. But I put these boards on here horizontally because I'm gonna actually put the top piece of plywood on, leave the bottom most likely uncovered for a little while, at least until we get that roof built Get these floor joists out of here and get what we need back in here <clears throat> the reason being is i want to insulate this portion of the roof so that the heat from the room ensures that that water line does not freeze that's what i'm trying to ensure and then i'm also hopeful that since that pipe is towards the outside of the building the heat from the basement once this thing is conditioned will actually come from the basement and cycle up through that pipe not to heat this upstairs but to ensure that pipe stays warm enough that the actual water line that's inside of that pipe doesn't freeze i know that's a little bit of a hope and a prayer trial by fire is kind of what that's going to have to be but i want to be able to get in here and access that supply right we we We've got multiple things here <clears throat> that A, we're going to tie onto, B, we're gonna pull off of. The electrical, for example, it runs over and then I've got enough wire where I can bring it up into a wall and send the hot, if you will, to an outlet and then pull out of that outlet and feed everything else that we're gonna put inside this room. So, uh, short story, now that I've given you the long story, we're gonna have some type of an access in here as the long-term goal is for this corner right here all the way up at this height in case you're hanging out up here and you don't want to walk downstairs long-term goal is to have this a small bathroom so that you can at least use the toilet and wash your hands at minimum that's what we're going to have up here uh highly doubtful that we will have any type of shower up here as i just we don't have the space for it so Anywho, we're going to get our top piece of plywood, but it is lunchtime. We're going to go grab some lunch, and we'll be back.
Well, there's that wall for now. We got our full 48 inch sheet on top. Then I put two six inch pieces on the bottom to ensure that when we go six inches below our window to start our two by six, it's gonna be nailed to the wall. And then you gotta go another five and a half inches down to get to the bottom of that board for the top of the truss to tie in. That makes it 56 inches, by the way. And from that top plate to the bottom of that plywood is also 56 inches. Is it gonna be perfect? Maybe not. Cause that top plate might be a little bit different than that top plate, but we're not losing much. If anything, I'm gonna gain some. So I'm gonna call that good. That wall at this point is um, it's about as far as we can take it. So I'm going to go out and assess the actual deck from the underneath side and see does it make sense to just start tearing that off and taking it over to the fire or does it make sense to come in here and pull up all these metal brackets first and try to slide everything out i'm not 100 percent positive i may be able to just go out there and lift up them boards uh, you guys saw me standing out there on the other side of the um, wall there's actually concrete in those pockets it's still solid concrete uh, further than what you can see there so all in all that wall came out pretty good i'm i'm happy with it it uh decked out nice only had to use three studs plus a bottom plate so didn't have to use much material and as stated earlier i'm gonna leave that bottom open for now uh, maybe i'll box uh, some type of a doorway or something in later so we can access that those utilities there but at this point Let's go out and uh, inspect the deck. Well, you guys can see the concrete pad in there. Comes all the way out. There's probably at least three feet of joists on the bottom of that. And uh, upon further inspection, I don't know if anybody's ever heard the meaning or the phrase should I say of hanging on by a thread pretty confident this joist here is doing all the work because that one doesn't move it moves very very little so I think these deck boards this joist that joist and this joist is um, yeah, the only thing holding on that entire side. We're going to swing around and confirm that uh, roughly six foot that way. So hold that thought. Let's, let's see what the other side looks like. Well, here we are on the other side. You can definitely see that joist there is good. Not this one, but that one over there. That one there is in decent shape. Got a little bit of wetness there, but you come over to this one, and by golly, that thing is, uh, I mean, it's toast. They are toast. Benefit to this whole thing is we do have a good wall framed up in there now, and we know these uh, floor joists go in further all the way over darn near to um, the steps. I shouldn't say to the steps, but to this corner here, so knowing we've got two foot of concrete maybe three foot of concrete from the wall out to here and then we're going to have another two foot at least inside the building that should give us at minimum four feet past on the inside of that edge that ledge and um then inside the building so five feet on the inside and maybe at most three feet i don't have my tape measure with me to bump that wall but um three feet at most on the outside so we're definitely going to be cantilevered um greater or should i say the cantilever will be less than 50 percent so that should that should work out pretty darn well now i just got to figure out you know, I don't mind walking on that concrete ledge up in there, but I got to figure out how to get this off 
to be able to get in new joists that um, we're going to square off of the walls that were framed around, square off of this back wall. So that's going to give us our point coming this way. And then the only math we have to do here is where we don't have plywood. Uh, the other walls have plywood, so our 2x6 is going to go right there. And then we'll have boards that angle out and attach to a 2x8 that basically nails on right here on actual good boards, mind you. All this will go away. Have a brand new board in here to, for, to uh, help the intersection point coming off of this back wall. That board will connect to the soffit board, which will be somewhere out in here. And then once we replace that wall, that angle will run over. So somewhere right around in here is going to be an intersection point. And somewhere right around over in there is going to be an intersection point. All that just has to be determined after we get rid of this crap, basically. Which means I also have to remove everything on the inside of the building. And then come from out here, slide in new 2x8s shackle them off to the inside nail my wall down to them and start framing out the roof i do have the option to start framing out the roof on the other side of the building because we do have <clears throat> one two three four five walls that i can bump and run off of so now i got a decision to make do i go ahead and tear this off get new joist in or do I go start building the roof? Decisions, decisions. One thing that I did find, there is an internal chase inside of basically this corner that goes all the way to the basement. You guys remember seeing the pipe right over there uh, on the outside of this wall and the inside of this wall. That goes all the way down. I'm going to make the assumption but this is not waterproof it's not an assumption the rock might be the, the real limestone might be but the mortar is not um, can it be sealed up yes but it's never going to seal it up 100 percent is my roof going to seal it up it'll keep everything that comes straight down from getting in there <clears throat> but if there's any wind that blows rarely is it going to blow from this side but it might so i may have to come over here and build me some type of a some type of a roof just to cover this um because i don't want to rely on peel and stick a it'll look like crap b it'll be something i always have to get up here and look at whereas if i build a roof over top of this by just putting some two by fours down concrete anchoring it into those rocks slash blocks um I think it'll I think it'll work out pretty good and then just just put a, a nice small little roof here that gets me at least out flush and the water can run down and go all the way down to the outside of the wall so preferably the wall would come all the way out to here the wall the roof would come all the way out to here so that the water doesn't end up hitting the side of the light tower slash castle here so as you can see there's some mortar mortar work that needs to be done on this thing too it's mortared well everything is is proper it's just some joints are mortarless on the feel but if you look down in there there's actually mortar that's holding everything together it just it needs to be filled and some of this taken off etc but again i knew there was a lot of work to this thing now it's just a matter of figuring out what the best next steps are so that's this video here folks hopefully you enjoyed it i got to make a decision am i going to start building a roof or am I going to tear this off to add in floor joists so that I can then continue on with my roof? And a lot of you might ask, why did you take that door? Why didn't you take that door out? Well, I still want an access point as I'm building that roof all the way around so that I can get inside the building without having to crawl through a window. It'll take me half a day, probably not even half a day, to get that framed in and get the window installed. And honestly, I wouldn't even have to install the window to leave the window out of it. Uh, but right now I can just walk through, I can come up. If I do end up with help here, they can stay on the inside. I can come out here on the outside. It just makes for easy access. And it's something I don't have to frame that in before I start building a roof. Cause it's gonna be built literally eight different sections. It, 
nothing's going to tie together until I start putting plywood on it. The only board that's going to join the two sides is going to be the hip valley board and you put two of those on but heck I can put a let's see two four five of them on and I can still have that door in there so that's why I left the door I don't see a need to take it out right now and it makes things a little bit handier if we need to get in and out of the inside of this portion so hopefully you guys enjoyed as stated a minute ago um, that's where we're at it's a lot of fun it's a lot of work but we're making progress so hopefully you liked it and as always like comment subscribe